Texas, a state known for its large size, booming cities, and rapid growth. Yet despite all that, traveling between major cities like Dallas and Houston is still a hassle. The 250-mile trip often means hours stuck in traffic with no real alternatives. But that could soon change. A $30 billion plan to build a high-speed train between the two cities is gaining momentum again. With backing from President Joe Biden, Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, and renewed support from Amtrak, this project is starting to look more like a reality. Using Japan's Shinkansen technology, this rail could cut the journey between Texas's two largest cities significantly. But why now and why Texas? Let's break down what's happening and why this might be the perfect place for America's first true high-speed railway. The I-45 between Dallas and Houston is a major hassle for drivers. The 250-mile journey can take around three and a half hours on a good day, but when traffic is bad, it can stretch to five hours or more. Taking a train isn't much better. It would take you 22 hours to cover the same distance. It's surprising that two of America's largest cities, ranked fourth and fifth in size, have such poor connections. Every week, over 100,000 people are stuck dealing with heavy traffic and frequent accidents on one of the most dangerous roads in the country. However, there's a promising solution with a new bullet train project that's been discussed since 1989 and is now finally moving forward. This project is more than just about speed. It's about changing how we travel across America entirely. Using advanced Japanese technology, the rail aims to cut the trip down to less than 90 minutes. No traffic, no pollution, just a fast, smooth ride across Texas at speeds of up to 205 miles per hour. Texas is an ideal location for high-speed rail. With a rapidly growing economy valued at around $2 trillion, the state has seen substantial job growth, adding over 750,000 jobs since 2020. Major cities like Dallas and Houston are expanding quickly, with the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex nearing 8 million residents and on track to become the third largest city in the US. This growth makes it a smart investment providing the necessary infrastructure to support Texas's booming population and economy. Texas Central is leading the bullet train project with plans for three key stations. The first will be in the Cedars district of Dallas, just south of downtown, and close to major highways and the K. Hutchinson Convention Center, which hosts over a million visitors annually. Further south, the next station will be in Grimes County, between College Station and Huntsville near Highway 30. This 60-acre site will provide ample parking and a bus terminal, with shuttles to Texas A&M University promoting growth in the area. From here, travelers can reach Dallas in under an hour and Houston in just 30 minutes. The final station will be in Houston at the former Northwest Mall site conveniently located near the US-290 and Interstate 610 interchange, making it accessible to local transport and the Energy Corridor, where nearly 100,000 people work daily. These stations are strategically placed to take advantage of flat terrain and optimal distances, allowing the trains to run smoothly without sharp turns. The trains will offer wide aisles, fast Wi-Fi and reliable service every 30 minutes during peak times and hourly otherwise. It is estimated that the rail could serve 6 million passengers within three years of its launch and up to 13 million by 2050. This would reduce road traffic, lower pollution, decrease accidents and create thousands of jobs, potentially setting the stage for future high-speed rail projects in the US. The key to making this happen is adopting the Japanese Shinkansen system. This train, which debuted in 1964, connects 22 cities across Japan at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Known for its impeccable safety record and minimal delays, the Shinkansen has been a model of efficiency for over 60 years. To bring this technology to Texas, Texas Central is partnering with JR Central, JRC, they plan to use a slightly larger version of the Shinkansen to ensure reliability and efficiency on this railway line. High-speed transit is already well-established in countries like China, France, 
Germany and Spain. China's network, the largest in the world, has expanded rapidly to over 25,000 miles since 2008. France's TGV also plays a key role in connecting Europe. California is also working on a bullet train between San Francisco and Los Angeles as part of its push for more sustainable transportation. However, the Dallas to Houston rail project faces several significant challenges. Although it has been in the works for over a decade, with careful planning, land purchases and station designs, the project has hit some major roadblocks. One of the biggest challenges is funding. The project is expected to cost over $30 billion, and Texas Central, the company behind it, won't start construction until all the money is secured. This is made even more complicated by Texas laws that prevent the use of public funds for privately operated rail systems. Another hurdle is the potential impact on communities. The project could displace around 300 structures, which would particularly affect minority and low-income areas. There's also concern about buying land from rural property owners who may be unwilling to sell. Additionally, questions remain about how many people will actually use the rail, especially given that the new stations might not be well connected to public transportation. This could force many travellers to continue relying on cars, which might reduce the rail's overall effectiveness. Despite these obstacles, the project is still moving forward, though it has yet to receive final approval. The COVID-19 pandemic delayed progress, leading to a major reassessment under Amtrak's guidance. Now, the project is back on track, but these challenges will need to be addressed for it to become a reality. If everything goes as planned, this rail could set a new benchmark for bullet trains in the US. It might even lead to expansions to other major cities like Austin and San Antonio and create a direct link to DFW Airport, leading to more projects like this across the country. However, the reality of seeing the railway in action is still far off, with the earliest expectations set for the early 2030s. Well, that's all we have for this project. Let us know what you think about this plan. And don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more fascinating projects around the world. We'll be back soon with another exciting video.